Hello, everyone. Look at this. What story do you think we're going to read to you today? Have a guess. What was that again? Ooh. If you have said the tiger who came to tea, then you are absolutely correct. This is such a beautiful story. And I love reading it. Every time I read it, I really enjoy it. And I hope you do too. This story is written and illustrated by Judy, Judy Kerr. The tiger who came to tea. Once there was a little girl called Sophie. And she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry striped tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Whoa. And he still looked hungry. The salty passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cakes until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the jug, milk jug, all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk, all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mommy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy, daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have a bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mommy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe and they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream in the morning Sophie and her mommy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat 
and they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time.